we have two formats right uh, to record a journal posting one is f-0 and the other one is f-50 so we already done with this on premises now we are going to do with the cloud that through the sap fury which is on cloud okay, okay. so we are going to perform with this f-02 that how to record an entry for example we are paying the rent mm -hmm. or for example we are paying for the petrol the traveling expense the amount is uh, let's suppose 600 we are paying for the traveling expense and we are mm -hmm. paying through the cash so traveling mm -hmm. expenses debit and cash is credit okay. okay so how to perform this journal posting f-02 on sap fury okay so this is our sap fury we need to click on this document entry or we can scroll it down mm -hmm. again we have two methods to record the journal posting one is f-02 and fp50 right mm -hmm. we've already done these two methods with these two formats and the on on yes. this version that uh, through fp50 and f02 and f-02 okay right now we're going to perform the same entry through this uh, through this uh, in in sap fury now okay okay so how to record a journal posting or a journal entry through sap fury so for example we are paying a traveling expense again okay so we we can go either you can click this document entry or you can scroll it down okay we can scroll it down or you can click on this document entry Okay. okay now here in the document entry we have this journal posting right mm -hmm. in journal posting when you click it this window will come so first we have this journal entry date so the journal entry date is let's suppose as of today we are paying the traveling expense so 22 dot zero seven dot twenty twenty mm -hmm. then press tab that is our posting date we are posting this today tab period we are in month of july tab journal entry that is our journal entry tab which is a okay. for the journal okay. entries tab and here is our company code which is ay1 mm -hmm. okay that is a transaction currency aed that either you're posting in leading or non-leading ledger here you can give internal a reference number, let's suppose double eight double nine. Okay, and that is mm -hmm. our header text. Right? Let's suppose we are paying for the traveling expense. Okay. Yeah. So this is the first header section. If we go here in in, the, in this format, F-02, we just done with this part. Okay, we just done with this part, right? Mm -mm. This is our header area. We just completed this one. Okay. okay. The next one is that we need to add this first line item that let's suppose we are debiting the traveling expense now. So here in the line item, first in the first line item, we have our company code which is AY12. We need mm -hmm. to select the GL account, the traveling expense. So you can mm -hmm. open it if you know the number. The GL account number you can enter that directly that is 6015 so you can enter that directly or you can click this option right this is our company code ay12 click mm -hmm. on the go it will open the list of all the ledgers which you created so that is 6015 traveling expense okay, okay. then press tab let's suppose amount is 1000 mm -hmm. right that is for the credit mm -hmm. side okay then next i'm gonna enter here if we drop down this option right we can add mm -hmm. the more details the further options like mm -hmm. we can enter the uh, that uh, the description we can enter the cost center okay but right now i'm gonna enter the second line item which is ay12 again the company code and we are paying through cash cash is 1000 mm -hmm. okay cash is okay. 1000 Dab, it's not a debit it's a credit so we can put here mm -hmm. 1000 
clear okay. so now if i press enter if you want to add further line items right so you can click this option to add further line item okay okay so if you press enter look that is our total debit side and that is our mm -hmm. total credit side it shows uh, that both are the same but if you look here here we have this triangle which is in red it said mm -hmm. that item is not complete is incomplete because we did not enter the cost center we did not enter the description the cost center is a mandatory option mm -hmm. okay so if we drop down this line item one right here we can enter the text traveling expense paid mm -hmm. month of july 2020 here and here we need to attach we need to assign the cost center the traveling cost center mm -hmm. open it this is our uh, the, uh, controlling area this is our company mm -hmm. code click on the go mm -hmm. it will open the list of all the cost centers we have in our company code so we need to select the traveling okay. expense right so the cost center is attached we can mm -hmm. uh, clap this one again can expand this and enter the same description here traveling expense paid month of july 2020 right mm -hmm. and uh, this is also done collapse that again now if you press enter again this is a total debit and this is total mm -hmm. credit if i press enter again it turns into also green okay, okay. if you press enter again it turns into green also why because now the information is complete mm -hmm. the item is complete mm -hmm. yeah now if you want to save it or if you want to simulate this one so we have this option to simulate click here it will give us an overview that this is how our journal entry the debit and the credit mm -hmm. look like okay so that is a line item okay. this is the header information here we have our the journal entry, the date, the posting, the period, the, uh, the journal entry type. This is our company mm -hmm. code, transaction mm -hmm. currency, mm -hmm. the reference number, and this is our reference document type, the header text, and that is our line item, the debit and the credit. Clear? Mm -hmm. And if you want to post it now, so you can click this option to post. Post it, and when you post it, journal entry 1003 mm -hmm. is posted uh, in company code AY12 has been successfully posted. Clear? Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. The journal entry is 1003. If you want to see the document, right, mm -hmm. we debit traveling expense with the amount 1000 there, mm -hmm. right? And if you want to check the reports, if I want to check the reports in here, if you want to check the ledger or if you want to check the uh, the document report the document list so you can go mm -hmm. in financial accounting journal ledger document in document mm -hmm. we have this fb03 is display this display mm -hmm. is used if you want to see if you want to check that how many vouchers how many entries or the transaction you posted today yesterday this week or this month so we can go here in the document fb03 so enter right i don't know that how many document we already entered right so then you okay. can click on this document list okay. right that is our company code we don't know the number mm -hmm. you can enter the fiscal year which is 2020 mm -hmm. and the document type for the journal entries that is sa okay, okay. and you can obviously uh, you can sort you can uh, sort the report with date wise okay and then execute so when you execute it will give us the list of all the documents which we posted so the last entry which we posted, which we posted on the Fury, right? That is what 103. We posted here, but it is also reflecting the entry here that it is posted in this company code AY12. So if we double click this, the same entry is there that we paid for the traveling expense through the cash that is 1000, right? And that is our cost center. This is our profit center and that is our segment. Segment. Mm -hmm. Here, the entry number is that is one zero three. Okay. Yeah, 
Similarly, if you want to check the ledger report, I want to see the traveling expense ledger. Okay, so we go in accounting, financial accounting, mm -hmm. journal ledger. In journal ledger, we have this account. Okay, in account, you can check all of them, but I'm gonna check right now this faculty 03. Okay. So double click. We need to enter the travel uh, the GL account, which is 6015 for traveling. That is a company code. Okay, this is open item, clear item, all items. So right now I will explain you this open item and clear item when we're gonna do the payable or see payable. Okay. But right now I'm gonna select all items and then execute because I want to see everything mm -hmm. right now. And you can give the posting it also. And execute when you execute, right? So the same entry is there. Mm -hmm. Right? That we debit this look one zero zero three which is traveling expense 1000 that is the amount in the local currency and that is amount in the group currency which is in IN. so if you mm -hmm. double click this if you double click this line item mm -hmm. right or if you double click this document number right it will open this uh, this detail you can put the cursor here right and you can click on this uh, display document Right, so when you click on this display document right or and then you can click this document overview also so it will open the same debit or credit that display document entry that is in the entry view you can click this also to view this one in the journal ledger yeah so this is how we record a transaction in sap fury or you can check the reports